using tree diagrams. So we're going to determine the number of possible arrangements of outfits if you have three shirts, two pairs of pants, and three pairs of shoes. And we're going to use a tree diagram to solve. So for a tree diagram, we first start with a single point. And now we're going to draw branches to show possible outcomes or choices. So we're going to have a first layer up here, in which case we'll call this the shirt layer. And we have three possible shirts. So because of that, I'm going to make three branches. You have one branch for each outcome. So we can see this is shirt one, shirt two, and shirt three. Now from this choice we have three new points. And at each of those points we have to make another choice. We have to decide which pair of pants we're going to use. So we have two more branches from each of these. And that is for which pair of pants. So we can say this is pants one, pants two, one, two, one, and two. So you can see that each shirt is kind of matched up with a pair of pants at this point. They have two options. And you can kind of draw another level thing up to the side to show what we've done on that level of pants. Now we have another final level, and that's the level of shoes. So we have more points again at the bottom where we left off, and we need to make three branches from those, because we have three possible choices for our shoes. So we have one, two, and three. So if you look down, we could draw kind of a map of what's going on. So if we chose shirt one, we'd come down this path. And then say we chose pants one, we'd come down this way. And then we could choose shoes two and come down the middle. Then we'd have this option here. So we can number all of our options at the bottom because those all represent different outfits. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So eighteen possible arrangements. So, you can also look at this mathematically. Um, now that we've finished this, it's a little easier to see. We had three divisions to start with, so we'll have three here. And then each of those branched into two. So from each of those, if we multiply that, three times two gave us six options. And if you can't see at the bottom of our pants, if we had six points. And then we multiply that six by three, because we had three more pants options, that gave us our total of 18, which is the number we got above. So that is how you can use a tree diagram to solve probability problems, determining um, possible combinations of outfits and stuff like that.